Today, I'm sharing seven insider tips that will instantly elevate your kitchen. One, update your hardware. Why not transform your kitchen easily by the simple task of removing an old knob and placing a new one? Now, ideally, if you have a single knob, you wanna keep the one whole so that you don't have to patch. So take a look at your handles that are in your kitchen cabinet. If they have two holes in them, you need to measure the distance between hole one and hole two, whatever that is. It could be a three inch, four inch, five inch, five and a half inch. Then you can easily search online for a half or a five and a half inch pull. The way that you measure the poles is never the actual distance and length and width of the pole. It is where the holes are. So it's really easy. Open your cabinet, look on the inside, find the two screws and go from middle to middle. Here, some of these knobs have been swapped out for something a little bit more elevated, sort of a brushed brass look, something that isn't shiny and new necessarily, but has a little bit more of a profile and a little more of a sophisticated look. I particularly love these gnarled knobs. I use them in a flip project. They look very share, <laughs> is expensive. And I honestly really love the travertine knobs that I found at H&M Home. They are so affordable and they're travertine. I mean, travertine is travertine and a screw is a screw. So you can pay $50 for a travertine knob or you can pay $9. Before I get into it, I'm gonna ask you to hit that subscriber button because I would love to be able to alert you of our weekly information, our weekly vlogs, and our weekly videos that will definitely transform your space, which will have a lot of insightful information and where to source and find items that are going to be quite useful in your home. This is what can be done over time. Organizing your kitchen, believe it or not, is a huge part of updating and elevating your kitchen. And the reason is that we have a lot of ugly countertop items that we can easily change and transform into more beautiful items that can sit on the countertop. If you guys don't like to put things away and need it to be a useful and utilitarian kitchen, then buy jars as you see in these photos. Buy seven of them, buy eight of them, source them at Ikea, source them at the container store, store some at Home Goods, source them at Amazon. They don't have to be a million dollars, but when you transform these containers from you know your cereal boxes to these beautiful containers, your kitchen will inevitably look good at any point during the day, even if it is a bit messy. So I sourced some items for you from H&M Home because I really loved the price of them and I really think that they look incredible. Your salt and pepper shaker. If you're buying beautiful raw salt from the organic supermarkets, which a lot of us are because nobody's having iodized salt, please don't have it. That's a whole other channel, but don't do it. Buy salt in the raw, whether it's kosher salt or salt straight from the sea and put them in these gorgeous containers. Perhaps you have olive oil on your countertops, no need. Put them in these beautiful little containers. Have a tray, display it. So everything looks good while it's sitting on your countertops and you can start today. The third actionable suggestion that I will make is to bring in texture, color, and interest into your kitchen. And what better way to do it than with my ruggable runners. Runners are really great in a kitchen because they warm up the space. Kitchens tend to be cold. You don't wanna stand on them. But if you put a ruggable rug, well, not only are they easy to clean because they go in the dishwasher, the dishwasher guys it's been a long day <laughs> into the washing machine but they are really easy to clean and they look superb i've got two of them in my kitchen i've had them now for as long as i've had my collection they rotate quite often go into the washing machine and they come back out they really really change the look of your kitchen and i've got a striped floor i have a crazy floor as you can see in these photos and it looks good with that it looks good with a wood floor. It just looks good, period. So one of the greatest ways to do this is by upgrading your lighting. You guys have heard me talk at nauseum about lighting, but I can't stress enough how important it is to change all of your lights from whatever you have, which is probably old as I did, to something that is 2,800 lumens or more. You need a warm light. 
Anything that is white, anything over 3000 is going to be clinical and will look and feel like a hospital. One great way to incorporate undercounter LED lighting strips is to put them on a motion sensor. This is a great way of being able to come in and out of your kitchen to get the lighting that you need to grab some snacks and then be able to leave the kitchen by really not only lowering your electricity bill, but also getting that perfect lighting when you're in and out of your kitchen. I cannot tell you how much of an impact I believe I have made on your spaces during these calls that we have had together on Zoom, together brainstorming, coming up with ideas, me suggesting specific items, colorways, layouts, furniture uh, styles, etc. Curtains, long, short, Roman shades, blinds. I mean, we've talked about everything on our Zoom call. So if you guys need a consultation for just 25 minutes or longer, I'm available for you by clicking the Zoom link in the description section. The next is mood lighting in the kitchen. How are we doing this? Well, I've mentioned before that Tom Ford has lamps on every one of his countertops. Now, none of his uh, projects have ever been photographed because that's who he is but I do have a secret source and he does have lamps on all kitchen countertops and they look incredible. He typically has an Apollo lamp. So if you can actually drill a hole in your island and put a lamp on it, if you guys are in the middle of construction, please do so. If not, every island does have an outlet and I guess you can try and hide the cord by plugging in your lamp. Putting him in a corner of the kitchen is so chic, so cute, as you can see in the photos that we've used. And one thing that everybody is doing, which I wholeheartedly believe in and will continue to do in 24, 25, 26, 27, is putting in sconces and mood lighting in a kitchen. To backsplash or not to backsplash. I have preached time and time again that backsplash is best when kept clean and minimal, and I still believe in that. However, there are great products like plaster, tile that we talked about um, previously, or just very textured materials, perhaps fluting, that are subtle enough to be a contrast to your countertops. I believe in them, I like them, they give visual interest, and it is a wonderful way to upgrade your backsplash if you have something that is dated. If you wanna absolutely upgrade and go nuts in your kitchen, which I will be, and I will be filming my entire kitchen renovation transformation for you, and I will be sharing all the insider tips as to how I'm doing it, and I would like to be cost-effective about it. So. There is no reason why if you already have a kitchen, you can't be smart about its renovation. And we're gonna go into exactly how to do that. However, this is a really great way of doing that. Get panels for your appliances. Unfortunately, you need to buy panel ready appliances. And once you do that, you can change these panels regularly if you'd like or over time. So if you're gonna invest in a great refrigerator, I would not get the stainless steel panel. I would get a panel ready refrigerator and I would upgrade it over time because some of these fridges will last you, good quality ones like the Gen Air ones that I'm obsessed with will last you at least 20 if not 30 years. So you're going to be remodeling your kitchen. You don't need to buy new appliances anymore. This dated notion of having to buy new appliances every time you do your kitchen is long gone because of the fact that you can buy panel ready appliances. So keep that in mind if you are making big purchases for your kitchen. And finally you asked and I'm going to go with my last and favorite suggestion is to go bold. This is definitely not for everyone, but for those of you that are interior design aficionados such as myself and regular viewers of this channel, you know we like to go bold here and again in a classic way. And the way to do that is by incorporating, are you ready? Color, 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 color in your kitchen. It's going to be hot in the next decade. You will definitely not regretting putting a gorgeous burgundy or a gorgeous deep chocolate brown and bringing in veined marble. I love the combination of dark cabinetry, whether it be a dark olive or a, um, I'm looking at my inspiration photos that I picked for you guys, or a dark burgundy. Anything that is earthy, again, it needs to be earth tones. And if you don't know what a great earth tone is, if you Google earth tone paint colors, a bunch of swatches will come up and that can guide you in picking a gorgeous wood colored cabinet. Painted finishes are a trend in 24 
and they will continue to be in 25. Don't be afraid, be bold. And since many of you asked today, I'm wearing Tory Burch from head to toe. This top is so beautiful because it's got a corset that is lined in it. I can't express enough the quality of these pieces and how well they fit. If you wanna know what colors to paint your kitchen cabinets, say no more and follow me to this video of the 2024 colors.